So, Econet Yomix. The Econet Wireless app that allows Econet Wireless Zimbabwe customers to create their own bundle mix of voice, minutes, data, SMS, and content services with guaranteed special offers. This has to be one of the shortest app descriptions I've read from the Google App Store in a really long while. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> I've been using the app since its inception in 2018 and more than any of its other offerings I've been using it to buy data and yes it's really been less expensive for me as compared to buying data through the normal USSD way how much less expensive well let's break it down after this June price increase by Econet while the normal daily $150 bouquet gives you 1.2 gig I can access that same amount of data for $68.31. When the weekly $80 bouquet gives you 370 megabytes, I can access that for $40.34. And when the monthly $355 bouquet gives you 1.4 gig, I can access that for $168. And even if I wanted to spend close to $355, I could get about 3.52 gig from the same amount. So. That's close to half of the cost of the normal data with the flexibility of me being able to request it to be a three day bouquet or a two week bouquet. And that's almost close to a third of the cost of similar sized net one bundles. Okay, I think at this point, there's a couple of things that we need to clarify before I go on. Firstly, data in Zim is generally expensive and this is a real challenge for online content creators. So this is not to say that the data I've been managing to get a hold of is cheaper, it's just less expensive. Secondly, I have an unusual data consumption pattern and that's because the things that I need to do online, they're a bit more data heavy right outside of the social media usage. So I have a bit more data dependent apps. You know, I stream music, I play fantasy premier league. I have collaborative and productivity apps that I run. I do a lot of browsing. I'm not particularly the most normal of users. So my experience with Yomix has really been just for data more than anything else. And thirdly, these savings that I've been experiencing haven't been the case for everyone who's used the app because some people can actually access the same amount of data, less expensive, and others, it's been even more expensive than what you get from the USSD cost. Now, this comes to show that the Yomix pricing is dependent on each user's propensity to consume Econet services. So what we're saying is that depending on where you are, how often you use Econet services and in what quantities what you access through the Yomix app can either be less expensive or hella expensive and I get to experience this whenever I have to send some data to someone else through Yomix because for some people that I send the data to it's less expensive for some even less expensive than what I have to buy the data for for myself and for others it's really expensive like it's it's unbelievable the app itself though, it's not so bad. It's a convenient way to purchase only what you need or what you can afford for a communication bundle with also shortcuts to some of your popular options. So some of your social media bundles, they're like one tap away that you can use. The user interface is pretty straightforward. Everything is laid out where you need it to be. It's easy to find. It links to your eco cash and your airtime balance. It's one tap. It gives you these clean gauges as well to show you how much of your service packages you have left and in which time limit. So the app itself, it's it's a pretty handy way for you to go about your data life and it hardly even lags. Annoyingly though, there's a lot of upselling that Econet does through this app. Everything from the billboards and the banner ads that it shows you from the home screen all the way down to the other special services that they suggest to you when you're about to complete your purchase. Even more annoyingly is that the app always needs to be online to work. It can't work offline. I've actually had instances where when I ran out of data, I had to go and buy 
some of the normal data just so that the app can be online so I can buy the less expensive data. I mean, I feel as though Econet could zero rate the product just so that they can make it easier for us to actually access the data. I mean, why not? I, I, I could be asking for too much, but I really feel as though Econet could make it easier for us to access that data a bit easier. A couple of things. I feel as though I would like to see with the next coming updates to the app, a biometric login. A biometric login would be awesome because at the moment you have to constantly memorize and enter a pin every time you need to access the app. And there's a couple of times when I've actually forgotten the pin and I actually request it a second time. And it would be nice if we could get access to like usage history. I mean, it's tracking our data already what's so bad about letting us see what we're using the data on i mean analytics they always help to make someone make better decisions and i feel as though it it just might be nice if i can get to see where my data is going and how i'm using it if you're a content creator and you're in need for mobile data i would encourage you to actually download the app and check for yourself what kind of costs you're gonna get for the data that they're giving. It might be less expensive, it might be more expensive. Actually, download the app on the Android store or on the Apple store. Use my referral code. I'll put it in the link below so that I also can pay attention to what's happening. And let's see what kind of variations in pricing for data that you're getting. Set the daily bundle to max and let's see what kind of cost that you're getting and where you are. Tag me on Twitter, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, at Simkaiwande on all three platforms, you will find me. If you find it still expensive, I would encourage you to stay either at NetOne or Telesel because consistently they're probably gonna still be less expensive than what Econet is going to give whenever they up the prices. Besides that, always remember, do a big shit.